I'm in Las Vegas at Longevity Fest, which is the annual meeting of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. And I'm with Jen Scheinman, who is with Timeline, which is the Swiss longevity company that we've been following on this podcast for a number of years. And, and you've been coming to this event for uh, at least three or four years, and it's grown in size, hasn't it? Yes, I've been coming personally for three years and every year it's just incredible. Not only the amount of physicians and other practitioners are, that are here, but also the excitement around what's happening in the space of longevity. And just to explain the people that come here, this is a professional event, so it's health providers, it's doctors, it's nurses, it's researchers in the field of human longevity. So it's, it's not open to the public in that respect, but I, I suppose the beauty of it is that the experts and the professionals here can gain new knowledge and then pass it on, maybe decipher it a little bit and pass it on to their patients. Yes, exactly. So we're seeing, you know, from physicians to nurse practitioners to even health coaches coming here, getting the latest science from the experts that are either conducting the studies or are really leading the charge in longevity medicine and then taking that back to their communities. Urolithin A, which is MitoPure. Explain to me, we've talked about it many times on this podcast, but explain to me what it is. Yeah, so I always like to start with where you find it in nature so people kind of can understand where this exists. And it's what's called a postbiotic nutrient. So we know a lot about the gut and the fact that our gut microbiome is so critical to our health, but we're just uncovering these molecules that our gut produces for us called postbiotics. So we don't get it in food directly. We need a gut, a healthy gut to make it for us. Unfortunately, most of us don't have that. And we've actually studied the population and really only about 30 to 40% of the population can make this molecule. And what it does is it triggers this recycling process inside our cells. So if people remember back fondly to high school biology and the mitochondria, we think powerhouse of the cell, these are energy generators. But unfortunately, they decline as we get older. And what urolithin A, this molecule, can do is take those dysfunctional broken down mitochondria, recycle them, create new ones. So your cells are essentially acting in a more youthful way with more energy to do their jobs. And that's why you love your mitochondria. Absolutely, yeah. Would you like it if people loved their mitochondria more, or at least had a greater awareness of their significance for our everyday health and our future health? Absolutely. I, I sometimes joke that I think people have post-traumatic stress from high school biology and first hearing about the mitochondria. And I want people to actually get excited about this little tiny organelle. They are so mind-blowing in what they do for our body, even beyond energy production. And when you think of aging and you think of all the chronic conditions that come along with aging, whether it is muscle wasting, muscle decline, um, brain function, even how our skin ages, a key piece of that, a key hallmark of that is actually due to our mitochondria. So if we can love our mitochondria and take care of them and nourish them, then we can essentially, hopefully, slow down how we're aging. And at the heart of this is, is energy, is muscle strength, both of which are crucially important as we get older, especially muscle strength, to try to avoid that frailty, which it would inevitably, and probably will inevitably come along for everyone at a certain age. Absolutely. If you're not doing something to actively slow down how your muscle age, and that includes diet, healthy diet, strength resistance training, but adding external molecules, potentially like urolithin A, you are inevitably going to have muscle decline that starts to happen. Now this is a, a product, this is science that's been evolving with your company for a, a number of years now. A lot of research went into this before the product went onto the market. Could you just quantify for me what has gone into this and the, the lengths of the research that uh, people back in Switzerland, you're based in Switzerland, your, your parent company, uh, what's gone into this? So honestly, I think there's just been some incredible dedication to the science that's gone into the development of this. I have been a dietitian working in you know, nutrition for almost 25 years, and I have never seen a supplement company that has done this level of research. So they approach this molecule almost like a biotech, even almost pharmaceutical type of approach, where they study this molecule all the way from worms into humans to really understand its mechanism of action, its safety, the dose that you need to really get a beneficial effect from it. Um, and that's just very unique to see in the supplement industry. And just the founders of our company and the scientists who have led the charge with this is just very unique and very passionate about changing the way that we deal with supplements. And that's still evolving science because you now have the benefit of big data data from people around the world who are using this supplementation. I'm curious to know 
what you've learned from what people tell you about how they feel after they've taken this supplement for a, a relatively long period of time. And by that I mean a, a number of years. Yeah, so what we do here is that it's mimicking in the real world what our clinical trials have shown, which is an improvement in muscle strength, improvement in muscle endurance. The other things though that I hear almost on a daily basis is things like my recovery after a workout is so much more improved. I can go to the gym and I do a hard workout um, and I feel great the next day. And we do have some research actually about to be published showcasing that as well. The other thing that I hear and I also personally have noticed is I call it like a subtle energy where it's not like you just drink a ton of caffeine. You just feel like yourself again. You have energy to get through your day, um, you know, to spend time with your friends and family, to work hard, do the things that you need to do, do the things that you love to do and just feel better. What do you say to people, maybe not the, the audience that you have here, but people who say, I'm really confused about which supplementation I need to or should be using or should be trying because there are so many. And I'm just bewildered by the potential benefits of different supplements that are marketed around the world. You see the ads on TV and magazines. Where should people start? So I think the most important place to start actually is with the quality of any supplement that you want to take. And that's one of the things that Timeline is also very dedicated to being very transparent in our quality. So looking for third party testing like NSF for sport, um, we are also clean label certified. So that's one way to know that actually it's a quality supplement. And the next is to look at the published research. As I mentioned, it's very unique what we're doing. Um, there are some other companies that are doing some amazing work in the supplement space. So you want to make sure that the research is there to you know, for any of the claims that we're, they're making so that you know that you're spending your money on something that will actually work and actually help you. Well, I've been following the progress of uh, the Uralith in a science that you've been evolving for a number of years, in fact, before this product went on the market. And one of the reasons I'm here this weekend is to talk to some of the people, the health professionals, the doctors, the nurses that you are involving in your research. And we've been doing those interviews, we'll be rolling them out over the next few weeks. And there are some real stars amongst the group of people that you've collected together for us to talk to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we are, I think, again, back to the quality of research, we have really attracted the top minds in the longevity, the health space, because they've seen this research. And so some of the people that we've been working with that were here at the show, I'll start with Dr. Felice Gersh. She is a OBGYN who has really been pioneering, you know, changes in longevity and just a female health perspective. We also had Dr. Terry Walls who is changing the way that we think of chronic conditions like multiple sclerosis and how lifestyle interventions and supplements can really help to reverse the really tragic symptoms that happen with that. We also spoke with Dr. Stephanie Estima, who is a chiropractor and very active in the women's um, perimenopause and menopause space and really talking a lot about the critical importance of muscle health and strength training as women get older. And then Cynthia Thurlow, who is a nurse practitioner. Um, she's done quite a bit of work in the fasting community and is also now really passionate and doing a lot of research and a deep dive into gut health as we age and its role in immune health. And what's interesting to me is the, the range of specialities that you've just mentioned there. And that really just, it kind of helps us join the dots, yeah. that everything is connected. You could be talking about the gut microbiome, you could be talking about the mouth microbiome, you could be talking about your muscle strength or the energy that you feel at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. All of these aspects of life really do go together. And I, I think that's where it's interesting to talk to people to help me and I think everyone to just to figure out that uh, this is a holistic approach to health. Yeah, and I think when you do sort of make friends with that concept of the mitochondria and think about them, they're in actually every cell in our body except our red blood cells. And that's actually the true secret to how this works. So if you're taking care of your mitochondria, that means your muscles are going to be better. That means your brain health is going to be better. That means your skin health is going to be better. And that's truly the foundation to it. What are you excited about looking ahead to oh. the future? Gosh, we've got a lot of new studies that are coming out that I'm excited about. The first one that should hopefully be published uh, sometime in 2025 is looking at actually a different take on aging and it's looking at immune aging. So a lot of times we think of immune health as boosting immune through a uh, flu season, right? Um, but actually we should be thinking about our immune system aging just like any other organ in our body. And we've got some really exciting research coming out around that. We have some exciting research coming out um, in the sports and performance. So looking at uh, athletes and there's going to be a lot of other research looking also at like brain aging a lot of different areas of the aging population 
Well, we're going to be, as I say, rolling out these interviews over the next few weeks, which I'm really excited to do. Just one final question. As you leave this event here in Sin City, Las Vegas, <laughs> there's nothing sinful about what's around us here, but what kind of energy are you taking away with you? What have you learned just through talking to people here? I think it's just an excitement for the future. I think we're on this cusp of really being able to take our health, our longevity into our own hands. And I think doctors are utilizing the amazing tools that are here. They're getting excited about it. Patients are really open to it and excited about it. So I think we're just on a really nice trajectory to have people live, not necessarily just longer, but healthier. That's the true thing, is how do you get all the quality in the years of your life, and that's what we're really passionate about. Well, health span is something I, I think I talk about with all of your guests that we've just yeah. mentioned, and it's it's probably worth repeating again what we mean by health span. It's living to a, a good long age, but being free of those chronic diseases, which sadly will inevitably come along. Exactly right. When you think about living to 100, if 20 of those years are going to be in a wheelchair or a nursing home, that's not the same as living to 100 and you know, being able to do the activities that you love, enjoy your retirement, enjoy your grandchildren. Jen, great to talk to you. I'm looking forward to following the progress of your work. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. This podcast is for informational, educational and entertainment purposes only. We do not offer medical advice. If you have health concerns of any kind, or you are considering adopting a new diet or exercise regime, you should first consult your doctor.